and the sauce is just perfect for two packages of chow mein. Hi guys, I looked through my fridge and I found two packages of steamed chow mein. I bought four packages the other day and I made two and I almost forgot about this one because it's weekend and sometimes I don't cook as much but since I found it so I'm gonna make this for lunch. So this one is steamed chow mein. For the steamed chow mein, you want to fry it first so then it's crunchy. Look at this one. This one, you fry it on medium heat. I put three minutes on each side and look at this side. Oh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take it out. Take it out on this one for now. Since I'm making two packages, so I'm gonna fry the other package. Take out all the leftover crumbs, the noodle crumbs, and then I'm just gonna add some more cooking oil. Wait until the pot is a bit hot and then add in your noodle. You want that sizzling sound. You don't want to add it if the pot is not hot because then it might not get to the color that you like. Especially if you put timer. Lower the heat to medium heat. I put heat 6 and put timer 3 minutes. In between the time, I'm going to go back and forth because I'm going to prep all the ingredients for me to make the sauce for the chow mein. Put small carrot. And you know for the meat, I have pre-cooked this already from the last time I made chow mein, the last batch. So what I did, I only put half of the meat. So you can fry any type of meat. You can put beef, you can put uh, chicken, uh, pork if you like. So what I did, I uh, stir fry some chicken and then I put half into the last time that I made chow mein and save the other half. Now that I have this, I, so the meat is already pre-cooked. Now all I have to do is prepare the vegetables. So I have carrot, I have onion, and then I have broccoli. So broccoli, cut, cut the stem out, and then I, I like to keep it. A lot of time people throw it away, but I keep it. Cut the hard part out, throw that away, and then cut it like this. This part actually really good really crunchy really good and I'm sure you know how to cut up the broccoli just cut it all up into smaller pieces my family love broccoli so I'm gonna put lots since I put timer for the noodle while it's frying um, time three minutes I'm gonna go there to flip it and then let it cook for three more minutes okay that's good for the broccoli you can blanch it first if you want it to be really proper but you don't need to blanch it i'll show you the technique okay now that it's three minutes after you fry the noodle one side three minutes now we can flip it oh. this one not as good color as this one so the heat you can lower between uh, heat five, five and a half, six. So it's a pen, right? So you have to adjust the heat according to your stove. I'm gonna put three more minutes. So I lower the heat to heat five and a half. Okay, I notice that is a bit more a darker color that I want. So then I'm just gonna put three more minutes, and now I'm gonna finish prepping all the vegetable. So a lot of going, going back and forth here. I'm gonna put some mushroom, but this is optional. My mushroom, it seemed like I leave it too long. I almost forgot about it. It seemed like going bad. <laughs> oh, so dark. It's fine. Okay, now that I got all the vegetable prep and the meat also prep, so the meat is pre-cooked, so that is gonna be really easy. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. The sauce is the important part on how to make really good chow mein. To make the sauce in a large bowl, combine two and a half cups of water. So this one is room temperature water. One teaspoon of salt, three quarter tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of chicken powder, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, quarter teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay, that's all you need. Oh, and one more, one more ingredient. 
And don't forget cornstarch because cornstarch is also very important to make the sauce thick and it will grab and absorb to the chow mein. One tablespoon, just a bit over one tablespoon. And now just mix well. And so this is the texture and the sauce color that you want. Now that we got the sauce, let me show you how to make a really good chow mein with this sauce. I finished frying the noodle. I'm going to put this one back in. I'm going to put it back in here because this part is the best. When you stir fry everything, you pour it in here, nothing going to spill. Okay, now we can start to stir fry. I'm going to add some cooking oil. Okay, wait till the oil is hot. And after that, I have one small onion. Oh my god. Stir fry the onion on high heat a couple minutes. And after that, I'm just gonna add in the carrot. I'm gonna add everything in. I have broccoli. So broccoli, you can put as much as you like. And also the pre-cooked meat. So the meat. It's already cooked already, so you don't have to cook it first, but then if you cook the meat first, make sure that the meat is fully cooked before we add in the vegetable. The reason I'm adding like this, because the meat is already cooked. And then the sauce, before you pour everything in, make sure you stir the sauce. Because the cornstarch, sometimes they settle in the bottom, you don't want to clump up. Stir well and pour everything in. And I'm going to let this boil like two to three minutes until the broccoli a bit more softer. Like I said, you don't have to cook your broccoli this way, but this is almost like a shortcut. Bring it to boil and cook it for a couple minutes. And right now I have to gather this and put it in the sink area to clean it. So when it's slightly boiled, you just put timer for two minutes. So I have about 30 more seconds. You know what? I'm just going to add the mushroom. I almost forgot. Add in the mushroom now. I know this is not that much meat. In here, it doesn't have that much meat. That is okay. <laughs> so if you want to add more meat, more protein, you also can do that as well. Okay, after you add in the mushroom, let it cook about another minute. And after that, okay, turn off the heat and very easy pull in this your noodle and pour everything in that's it now you have this crispy chow mein with lots of vegetable <laughs> Ooh. right after you pour it in the noodle is still crunchy I'll, I'll show you this part is crunchy here And the sauce is just perfect for two packages of chow mein. Mm. Gotta test out the, the noodle first. Mm. Perfect flavor. This is really good.